Welcome back to BTS Bros Talk Supercars. It's AJ and Curtis here. Now I've got something special that's about to happen to me, haven't I? Why do you always get the rides in the cars and car fest? This is what I'm asking myself right now. Yes, because I make friends with everybody. Whoa. Uh, and you, you just, you, you don't, AJ. That, that's what it is, unfortunately. Painful, man. <laughs> I'm excited about this because actually, it's pretty awesome. I've been in this car before. I went in this car. A Go on, year I think ago, you should get a, a zip year top. and a half ago. Okay, fair enough. Just so you can start sweating a about bit more. About a year and a half ago, and I know one, the driver is absolutely nuts. Nuts. He's a wild guy. Shouldn't be allowed on the track. No, he's a fantastic driver, incredible, but he loves to take it to the extreme. This is a little bit tight, this race. So he Whoa. loves to throw donuts out there and he loves to spin that car around as much as humanly possible. But that's hey, what you I'm like, isn't it, Kurt? in for you. Okay. Oh, you got, got a some new glasses. pair of glasses now. I'm going off in the world, apparently. Gucci. Zipped up. I'm excited. Oh, oh. But this has kindly been uh, given to you, hasn't it, Kurt? But, uh, uh, yeah, I've got my lovely happy helper here. Mm -hmm. Lovely assistant who's actually going to kick you in the head, Kurt, when he comes back and he's got a sweaty helmet. She's told me that I'm not allowed to make a helmet sweaty. Now I'm one of the sweatiest guys around. Oh, do I need to tuck this in? Tuck. Oh, okay. Anyway, he hey. can't even get changed, can he? <laughs> this isn't good, thank you. <laughs> why do you look so weird? I don't know why I'm still squatting. You got it? I Wait, think. no, let's let him struggle. Boom. We can fast forward this in a second. Boom. Oh, damn it. And boom. You need to do your, 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 your go on, go on, tie yourself up. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you want the honest truth, I can't hear a word anyone's saying. These are great soundproofing stuff, so. Well, we are here at Carfest in the paddock. Curtis is going to go out in this Opal, and he is going to get, well, I hope, spun around like I blended that smoothie earlier today. Can we get the driver in for one second? Come, come here, on. Come, on, come on, talk about yourself. I want some information right, on what is yourself, it? the First car. First of all, y your name, how young you are, and how uh, many years you've been driving. Well, so the that's an easy one. Stuart McLaren, uh, 61. I know I don't look it, probably 71. <laughs> um, <laughs> rally driving since I was 18, on and off. Um, couple of different careers. The car is currently used in the British Championship in the historic class. And the big event last year was the Roger Albert Clark, which is a five day, like the old classic Jim Clark rally from way back. So yeah, and I just love this gig. So it's great. Yeah. What have you got so planned So today's about burning tires with Curtis, is it? Like just to aim to make Curtis throw up? Uh, I don't want that because it's in my helmet actually. So <laughs> he's, he can do it afterwards once he's got his helmet off. That's fine. But no, it's just do some donuts at the display zone and get it quite sideways down through the back where it's quite quick, get up to about 60 in third gear and get the car sliding around. Yeah. Just like you would do it on a normal rally stage. Absolutely. And the, he seems to enjoy it. So. No, I love it. I remember last time I was in with you and honestly, we had the best time ever, just <laughs> spinning around, doing things. Yeah. You're a fantastic driver. So if I get you out on stage now, will you get me up on stage later? I will speak to Chris and see what <laughs> magic I can make happen. <laughs> Good man, thank you. He's going to try. Gonna Honestly, try. let's take it away. Straight into the car, Curtis. And I want to see you on the track. I'm so excited to see this footage now. Let's hit it, and I'm sweating already, AJ. AJ has just literally been told this second that James Martin has got one of his Ferraris here, and he's managed to hop in for a ride in the Ferrari. So I'm going to go in here right now, and then we're going to head over to AJ and see what that Ferrari's like and see how excited AJ is, because I know he was desperate to get in a car, and he nearly missed the chance to do it. I sort of hoped that he was going to miss it. I mean, is that a bit savage or not? But I sort of hope he wasn't going to get one then, so I could have one up on him. But he's in. Right, here we go. Now, I remember last time getting in this, my bum was a bit tight. Yeah. Have I not done it? What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore me. Apparently, I've done my helmet up wrong. Oh, wow, this is tight. Chris Evans has just got in the Ferrari Monza SP2, which is outrageously gorgeous. Actually, backing up behind us now is actually Curtis in another car, in the Opal. But obviously, he's about to go out there, shed the tires. If you've got Jimmy Carr in the passenger seat, I don't think Jimmy Carr realizes how quick it's actually going to be this ride. I think, Chris, go on, give us a word for camera. 
Um, well, I can't believe how much Jimmy Carr knows about cars. Now, I know that he's got a car in his name. It's not spelled right, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but And I knew he loved cars because we've had this conversation before. But he is wanging on about this 1989 Porsche Targa. Listen to what he has to say about this. This is this is possibly the best day ever. Jimmy Just getting a go in this. It's superb, isn't it? I like this is the best day ever. I can't believe our luck. I mean, look at him grinning like a Cheshire cow over there. You're very happy, aren't you? He's partly the dentist. <laughs> That's your tax money at work. I think he thinks it's a test drive and it's available. I'm not yeah. sure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know when, when or if ever to break it to him. Probably not. How much, not. How much was or how much is it right now? It's going to set you back a pretty penny, we'll say that. It's three million quid to buy, but you can't. You have to be invited to buy them. Plus, you also need about three or four Ferraris in advance. Yeah. What kind of luggage space does it have? <laughs> uh, if you're classing yourself as a luggage, you're fine. Other than that, not much. Yeah, enough for a poo bag. And by the way, you might need one. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'll let you get prepared and uh, tighten all their muscles up. <laughs> Off he goes right now. Just look at it. Look at it relieving the panic. It is absolutely gorgeous. We are going to get out of the way because we don't want to get run over by anybody right now. But I think Jimmy Carr is definitely a very happy bunny. Right now, actually, Curtis is sat waiting to go out on track. I've actually just wrangled myself a drive, well, a drive, a passenger drive in. I'm very happy about this. James Martin's Ferrari GTB 275. I think it's 275. I'm not the best with the older Ferraris, but I've just been looking at it, staring at it, and being in love with it. So knowing that's going to happen makes me very happy. We should probably walk and talk to Curtis. I don't even know. You, you, cameraman knows, but I don't know. Where is, where is he? Where is Curtis? Where is he? We're walking, we're talking. He's, uh... Oh my God, we're walking, talking, walking, talking. The smell is outrageous right here. Okie dokie. We are, it's a long walk, but what is amazing about Carfest is all these cars are gonna go out and absolutely do what they're designed for. Go a little bit crazy and shed some tires. Oh, I think I see him now. There he is in the Opal. <laughs> ear to ear, smiling, look at that. Okie dokie, we are ready. Are you ready for your passenger ride, Curtis Pritchard? I am 100% ready, yeah. So, um, I've been in this once before and I've been on, on a different track, so I'm excited to go around this track and we've been told we are going to do some donuts. It's going to be very, very fast out there and I'm excited, yeah. On that note, I'm going to let you prepare yourself physically and mentally, Curtis. I like that it's proper extreme that you've had to go for a full-on, uh, obviously, race suit, fire retardant yeah. material, get the helmet on. Yeah, it's, and there's it's not tight, much please, in there. It? Yeah, it looks quite tight, so... <laughs> my, my voice may be slightly higher in this situation right i'm gonna let you prepare yourself then because i think you're going out very soon and i'm very excited to see this we'll actually see your face when you come back have you seen the car which you're going out and you're going out in james martin's ferrari i'm going out in james martin's ferrari and i am beyond excited for it and then i found out how much it was afterwards and then i thought well he didn't want to say on camera how much it was but we did a bit of research and it was more towards in between 20, 25... Uh, a thousand pounds, I understand. Tw thousand yes, pounds, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Premium. I, I understand that, yeah. Okay, I'll let you warm the engine up and I'm going to go and check out some other cars because it is... Well, I'm in heaven around here. I've got to go. You've got to go check out, AJ, the big, like, 4x4 four four off-roaders, the, um, like, dune buggy cars. Have a little look at them. They look like monsters. Well, that though, you get ready. Warm them tyres or warm the engine up, and I am going to get out of your hair now.
Everything that costs you pay. God, that was outrageous. Just brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, well James, thank you so much. How did that drive for you? This is everything that a car should be and more is. Oh. This has been one of my favorite passenger rides Good, it? ever, by far, in every single way. <laughs> and the backfires, the pops, is just out, yeah. yeah. And it handles so well on the track. It's great, it's great. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's great fun. <laughs> happy. More than happy. Happy is an understatement. I'm, I'm kidding the candy shop. Car fest was worth it, but it's one moment. <laughs> So you just let the engine just like kind of just deal with the oil to. Yeah. Voila. Wow. My body's tingling. <laughs> Everything about it in such a positive way. I've never enjoyed a passenger ride so much in my life. This Ferrari and James Martin. Who knew James Martin drove like. Bat of hell. He was. Can't even point to words to describe the, the backfires, the pops, the crackle, the engine fire, the vibrations, the coming to brakes, the corners. Everything felt so on edge, but so controlled at the same time. And then the inside with the wooden steering wheel, the finely stitched leather handwork. It's just a work for one, one more thing. Look at the beauty of this. I didn't have the pleasure of seeing it flying around the track. I want to go and watch the track footage now so I can see it flying around because it is just on another level. This car, by far has changed my opinion in so many ways about vintage cars and I love it. And what <laughs> sat next to his uh, GT40 as well. We can't even, that's the two car lineup, like, that is outrageous. Thank you so much to James Martin. We're gonna come back and we're definitely gonna do a test drive in this car because I know he knows how much I love his cars now. <laughs> we are in the paddock and today was like, oh, we want a ride, but we don't really know what's gonna come to fruition. And Kurt suddenly got like the opal and it was pretty awesome. And then I, I was, was lucky to be fair, because I did know him already okay. from previous years. Cheeky. So I did see him and was like, is anybody going out in your car? And he was like, well, my daughter was, but not anymore if you want. <laughs> and then that James Martin was like, well, do you want to jump in my, um, 275 GTB Ferrari, and I was Which like, I am quite Yes, about of that, course I fair. do. I so am. I was so happy. Oh my god, Curtis. What was it, it like? Was beyond belief, amazing. The noise, the vibrations, the quality. And actually, knowing how much it's worth was actually giving me a bit of a heart attack inside because yeah. he drove it like he stole it, and it was brilliant. Well, I think what's happening now is there's about to be a parade that's going out onto the track now. I've had my fun in there. They're not really going to get a chance to. <laughs> Do any donuts now? It's a little bit more just go around, show what's going on. It's a celebration for the whole yeah, car fest yeah. staff. Like they've done amazing. Look at the cars going out now. Look we at are these. gonna sign off. Please honestly, like, subscribe, comment, send us the love because we have loved being here at Car Fest. And we will definitely be back next year and every other year there is, to be honest. Cause I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. I want a fact of the video but I'm putting you right on the spot. You want a fact on the video, okay? The average car has over 30,000 components in it to build a car. It's mad, isn't it? How did you know that fact? How's that even possible? Yeah, How give us a wave. Face. Hi. Awesome. We I'll love the people time. here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of them things, and let us know which is your favorite car as usual. See you later. Bye.
This video is powered by Food Heaven. It's all plant-based foods. Go try it out.